promised that I was going to come back here and give a very thorough review. Camden Market was my first time trying Burger and Beyond and I was blown away by their, I believe it's called the Bacon Butter Burger, which is, I believe it's their patties cooked in a burnt butter with bacon. Yeah, it just tasted absolutely phenomenal. I'll leave a link right there, leave the card right there. I was so sure that Bleecker Burger was the just a spot that you know the best spot in London for especially a smash burger. I haven't tried the bacon butter burger at Burger and Beyond in Camden Market. I was like, you know what? I need to reassess my life. I need to really reassess things and come back to Burger and Beyond. It's it's been a couple of months since I've actually been there, so yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see. So this time around I've gone for something a little bit different. So we're getting the bougie burger, which doesn't have bacon, but it does have marinades. I believe it's probably a play on mayonnaise uh, whipped in with some bone marrow. I'm assuming just based on the name, but I'll clarify. I'll make some clarifications on that. And uh, yeah, I've got some, some fries, some Gauchuan wings. And what we have here right now is a vanilla crumb shake. Typically, I wouldn't really get a milkshake with a burger because I feel like it's just overwhelming, but I couldn't resist when I saw this. Just look at it. It's got a nice cookie crumb inside. I like, I like different textures. In, um, when I'm eating, I let it like, you know, something smooth, something crunchy, something salty, something sweet. Different textures, different flavors make for an interesting experience. Right, that, that's super thick. It's a struggle to suck it from the straw. It's really, really rich. Super crumbly. Yeah, this is delicious. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. It's simple, it's not over the top, but I like it. It's just a nice, not so complex a milkshake. Yeah, I like it. I think it's the right consistency. It's not too thick but thick enough, thick enough to be very satisfying. Mm. It's quite moorish. It's slightly salty as well. Right, so I've got the gold schwam wings. They look like they're gonna be very, very, very hot. Definitely messy. So I'm gonna squeeze some lime in here. It would have been good if, uh, Provided you with gloves. Very messy. Wow. That is delicious. Piping hot. Meat is very, very hot. It's like a nice, sweet marinade. I was expecting it to be spicy. It's not really spicy, it's just. It's more like a sweet, sweet chili jam. And the, uh, the chicken itself, it's quite crumbly. It's got a nice crumbly coating. This is really delicious. I'm trying my best not to burn myself. This is really, really hot, guys. Probably one of the better wings out there. I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. This is extremely good. Extremely, extremely good, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Let me put this down so I can really concentrate. Burgers come. I'm trying to breeze through this because the battery's low and I didn't I didn't bring a spare. So this is the, the bougie burger. As you can see it's uh, I mean, okay, it speaks for itself. And I also got fries and a signature sauce. They have a few dips. I uh, can't remember how much they charge for them. I think it's like a pound, I think it is. Anyway, we'll try the chips first. It's nice and crispy. It's got a good amount of potato in there. 
Signature sauce, it kind of reminds me of burger sauce. Like a sweet, sweet burger sauce. That's really good. Mm. That's quite more. Right. What you've been waiting for. The burger. The bougie burger. This is going to be very messy. Wow. That butter just melts in your mouth. Mm. That is unbelievably delicious. The bun is unbelievably soft. The patty just melts in your mouth. The sauce, everything. <laughs> it's a beautiful marination of flavors. Mm. Yeah, I've changed my mind. This is better. So unfortunately, my camera has died and I've had to default to my other camera. And I know that the the lighting isn't the best, but it is where it is. And uh, I also realized I wasn't using my microphone, so apologies for that. As I was saying, this burger is phenomenal. Very messy though, but absolutely delicious. I'm gonna give the burger a nine out of 10. Fries, eight out of 10. Shake, nine out of 10. Let's finish off at Burger and Beyond. And um, yeah, I'll definitely give the place a hit. Total bill claim to just under 50 pounds. Although it was quite filling, still a bit steep. But despite that, I think it's a really good place and I'll definitely give it a hit. So a place I will definitely be coming to again. So yeah, if you happen to be in the area, Soho, they have a branch in London Bridge and of course they have their pop-up in Camden. If you happen to be in that area, give Burger and Beyond a try.